Suggs with a nice touch in front of him. Suggs right in front to Sandoval on the right foot, and it's through! Devin Sandoval, welcome home! How'd you get involved in soccer in the first place? When is your first soccer memory? When did you start playing? Yeah, that's uh, it's funny you asked that. I got asked that yesterday. Um, but really, I was born into it. Like my dad played soccer. Um, so as soon as I was walking, there was always there was a ball around, and uh, it was always playing. Um, I think I was like, I wasn't even four yet. The first team I played on, so it's been part of my life as long as I can remember. How much was that influence of your dad being a former soccer player on an influence of what you would later become now, a professional soccer player yourself? Yeah, he he was a big, huge influence. He was, uh, I mean, because on my mom's side they played tennis. Um, so my dad was the only one who played soccer in my family. So, um, yeah, he was my club coach from the time I was three to the time I was uh, either 10 or 11. Um, so he definitely helped shape me into the person I am today. What do you love about the game? What is it that's kept you in it for so yeah. long? I, uh, I love everything, all, everything about it. Um, it's a technical game. It's a tactical game. It, you have to use your mind. Um, you have to be athletic. Fit, um, and I think it embodies a lot of different aspects of other sports all in one. Um, so it's yeah, it's a lot of fun. So you said you'd been playing since you were about four or so. Continued through club soccer, youth soccer, all the way up into high school. What do you remember most about your high school career? High school? What do I remember most from high school? Um, for sure, freshman and sophomore year, sophomore year were special because I made varsity and we won state those two years. Um, so to do, be a part of that, you know, at a, at a young age, that was, that was fun. Um, and then I played in ODP and club at the same time. Um, and our club team was really successful. Um, my, the ODP team did well, and I got to go play in Italy um, against some of like, the best players in the world at, at our age. So, um, you know, my, my high school years definitely were, were fun. When you went to go play overseas in Italy at relatively a young age. Was that a lot for, uh, you know, a kid? Um, I don't know if it was a lot. If I think, if anything, it was eye-opening because these were kids that are playing at some of the biggest clubs in the world, um, you know, for their academy. So to play against them and see that I was at their level, um, you know, it just opened my eyes to uh, the fu my future, basically. You mentioned those first two years winning state. Um, was there a match or a game, uh, a an instant that you'll never forget. Um, one instant. I don't. I don't know. It's hard to say. Just one. Um, you know, when I look back at, at my freshman sophomore year and we won, I think of the collective. I think of the team, and um, we had some really good players, guys that were older than me. Um, so yeah, there, there's not really one moment that just stands out. Did you always have a dream to play professionally? Yeah, for sure. Um, Ever since the time I was little, I, I wanted to play pro. Um, but really, it became a reality in my eyes when I was playing um, in ODP. So freshman, sophomore year of high school, um, like I knew it could happen. Yeah, when was that moment that you realized, hey, I, I can do this. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty good at this. I can compete at the next level. Yeah, I think it was when, uh, when I got to go to Italy. Um, that, was, that was the biggest moment because, like I guess we were playing some of the biggest clubs in the world and uh, to be, you know, playing toe to toe, standing with them and, you know, winning games and we did, did pretty well. That was when I knew something could happen. What's soccer like over there in Europe? I mean, is it a whole nother culture? How, how would you describe it for someone yeah. who hasn't experienced it? It's, uh, it's pretty special. I mean, it's, it may, you know, it's life to people out there. Um, but I don't think what we have here is too far off. People are really into it and you know they're buying in and it's becoming a big part of the, the culture and the community so you know just gotta keep building on that and we'll see what happens. Let's touch upon that with the New Mexico United you were the first one on board that they landed and signed is that a lot of pressure I mean being kind of one of the founding fathers on the roster I guess so to speak? I don't know if there's if there's pressure with it um, I mean the way I look at it my obligation to the club to the, the people here in New Mexico is to give everything I can and to perform to the best of my abilities. And if I'm doing that, then, 
you know, I'll be, I'll be happy. You mentioned the excitement with this club and the enthusiasm that uh, the community has supported them with. What's it like walking out there before a match and, you know, a home one specifically and the crowd is going crazy and there's so much enthusiasm and energy? I mean, that's, that's really what you dream of as, as a kid, um, to play professional soccer in front of people that are passionate about it and that, um, you know, that are excited about the game. So when, when we walk out for them up and there's already thousands of people in the stadium, um, you know, it gets, gets me excited. Did you think when you first signed on with the club that it would take off as quickly as it has? I mean, the popularity has really, really grown. Yeah, I thought, um, I always thought that there would be, you know, if there was a professional team in town and if it was done right, it would do well. Um, so to see it, you know, actually in person is pretty, it's pretty cool. I ask everyone I have the opportunity to sit down and talk with like this, if I were writing a book or making a movie about your life, your story, what, what would the title of that be? I always think <laughs> everybody has a story. What, yeah. what's, what's the Devin Sandoval story? Oh, what's man. it called? What's the title? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't, there's not really a phrase or, you know, something like that that motivates me, but I do have a lot of pride in being from here and I've always had that. Um, even when I was living in Utah or you know, wherever else I've lived. Um, and I've always just wanted to represent New Mexico in my home. Um, so for me, that's, that's my biggest motivation outside of my family. Not only does everyone have a story, also usually every tattoo has a story. <laughs> what, got, what kind of yeah, stories do you have there? Um, yeah, my, first, my very first tattoo I got, it's on my back. It says, Nacido para jugar fútbol, so born to play soccer. Um, and I had a bet with my dad when I was like 17, and we were playing one of the top teams um, on the West Coast. And um, he said if I got a hat trick, then we would get a tattoo together. So yeah, that was, got, got the hat trick, and that was my first, first one. So. And what's it built into? You got the sleeves <laughs> Yeah, now? I got, got quite a few. Um, got the Sugar Skulls, got the Zia, um, Mary, Jesus. You know, I got it, got a lot, so. <laughs> You've mentioned during this conversation New Mexico and Zia and a lot of pride in being from New Mexico. What, what does that mean to you, being a local player on a professional soccer team here that a lot of people are excited about and you're one of the homegrown talent? What's, yeah. what's that mean to you? It means everything. Because um, I know what it's like to be, you know, from, be the kid that's kind of looked over. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope I give kids and, you know, people in general something to look towards um, and to aspire, aspire to do. Um, it doesn't have to be soccer. It could be anything. Um, when I was young, um, one of the first athletes that I saw come out of Albuquerque that was successful in, on the, the national stage was Diego Sanchez. And to see somebody, like, if he could do it, why can't I do it, you know? Um, so I hope to, to kind of do the same. You said you know what it was like to be looked over. Mm -hmm. What's an instance where you were looked over or something that motivated you like that? Yeah, just um, so when I was playing ODP, uh, like I would be on the regional team and they're, you know, from there they select the national team. And it always felt like they were picking kids from California. Um, and, you know, so that just gave me more motivation to prove myself and, you know, um, to improve and get better. Uh, as this ball comes through, finds Suggs in the box, picks out Sandoval, top of the box, off the post for Devin Sandoval. And what's your motivation now from here forward and kind of what's the goal you're setting for yourself? I mean, first and foremost, my motivation is uh, my family. I have a wife, I have a daughter, um, I have a lot of family here. Um, you know, when I, every time I step onto the field though, um, you know, we're representing not just us, but the state. Um, so that's, that's pretty motivating. Um, as far as a goal, um, we set goals individually early on. And for me, it was to perform consistently every single game and, you know, try and score and create every single game. Um, and if I could do that, then I think we'll be doing all right. Having a wife and a daughter, did that change at all? Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. My wife and I have been together 
since college though. Um, so she's been with me through it all. Um, and we had our daughter uh, 15 months ago. So when she came, things definitely changed a bit for the better. Um, but yeah, that's having a child is a big motivating factor for sure. Is your child gonna play soccer? Uh, I'm sure she will, but I'm gonna let her, you know, let her do whatever she wants. And you know, I'll, I'll empower her and try to give her whatever I can to be successful. I think we've come up with a title of your story. How about Born to Play Soccer? All right, <laughs> I like it. I like it, that's good, that's good, nice.